we're talking about the fact that myself and several other young women that live in St. Louis are having co conversations with our OBGYNs right now, wondering if tear gas is going to have an effect on our reproductive system, right? We're talking about children and wondering if tear gas, and well, not if, how, tear gas, M16s, and the psychological and physical damage that they have endured on the streets of Ferguson and, quite frankly, on the streets of St. Louis, um, how that will affect their educational, employment, and college outcomes, right? So I want to just make sure that we are situating this in more than um, just an image on a screen because this is real for you, right? I know this is real for everyone up here, and so I want to start off that way. Um, but Dr. Alexander is exactly right in saying that we were out there uh, in Ferguson uh, engaging our, in our democracy in the way that uh, people tell us to, right? In the way that um, our, the, the great founders of this country did. But when we did it in our black skin with our rap music and our young selves, we were considered threats instead of patriots. And so at the end of the day, At the end of the day, it's about what the cops have, it's about what they do, but it's also about how American society draws up young people of color as, um, as people to be seen as enemy combatants instead of the full citizens that we are and the respect that we deserve.